you've got questions, we've got answers. We have the man to answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Yeah, great to be back with you, Bob. It's great to have you. I've got a question in my inbox. Uh, it goes like this. Uh, I own some Series EE bonds. Uh, if I re- if I redeem them early, do I get a um, deduction? I think is how it goes. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, a deduction like that that's available if you redeem a, a CD early and you've you've had interest reported and then you pay a penalty and you have to lose some of that. EE bonds work a little bit differently. First off, you can't always redeem an EE bond. It depends how early. So you can't redeem it until they're at least 12 months or one year old. Um, in addition, whereas with a CD, you may report income, you know, you're typically reporting income as it's going along with EE bonds. You're generally, although there is, you know, there are some exceptions to this rule, you're generally deferring that income until you actually cash in the EE bond. And the way it works is that if you redeem that EE bond early, uh, currently you can have them earn interest for up to 30 years, but you don't have to. Uh, Within 12 months, as I mentioned, you can't redeem it. If you redeem within five years, the penalty, if you will, for that early redemption is just that you won't be credited with the last three months of interest. And so because you're never credited with that interest, you don't actually receive it. Uh, you don't have to worry about reporting any penalties, if you will. So generally, you're not going to see a, you know, a deduction for that like you would on the CD side. Right. And that's a little bit different than what would happen with I-bonds, for instance, I, I believe, right? One is you're, you're paying uh, OID along the way. Yep. Yep. That's right. So there's a, a variety of different, you know, government debt instruments. EE bonds are those classic, you know, it'll say a hundred dollars on it, but if you buy it, you know, at like $50 and it matures over time, et cetera, the, you know, the, the bonds that a lot of us, you know, received when we were little for, you know, college education, because at that time it wasn't 30 years, it was a, a shorter maturity schedule. So yeah, that's exactly right. So you have, uh, you have different bonds that mature on different schedules. Some you pay interest on on a regular basis. Uh, look, just the same way you would with a, you know, a T-bill or, or, or something like that. That's also federal debt, but it works in a slightly different fashion. And of course, we should mention here um, that regardless of whether you redeem it early uh, or, or late or on time, uh, that interest, if it's used for qualified education expenses, uh, you can have that be tax free as well. So there may be no income tax consequences on that interest. It impacts some other student benefits that you may be looking for, things like credits and, and so forth. So you've got to play it all out and, and make sure you're you know, doing the net net right thing. But there is some benefit there. All right, Jeffrey, uh, once again, nailed it. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm sure our reader loves the answer. Uh, Well, hopefully. It certainly makes things easier, right? Uh, So with that said, if you have a question, hopefully we make things easy for you as well. uh, Give us a shout. Email us right here at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Thanks so much. And we look forward to seeing your question in our inbox real soon. Mm -hmm.